Hello, everybody. So Twitter advanced search is a great place to go when you're stuck and you just can't decide what kind of content to create. Whatever kind of content it is you're trying to create and you're just stuck, this is a great place to sort of get your gears moving. So the way to get to Twitter advanced search is twitter.com forward slash search dash advanced. And this is the screen that you're going to see. So what we're going to do is under this section here that says people, we're going to type in the name of an account of an expert or an, or an influencer in our industry um, who, su who serves an audience or is writing content for an audience that's similar to our own. So for this example, I'm going to choose Amy Porterfield. And then down below here, I'm going to click the question mark box. A lot of people don't know about this. This is a very sort of little known tactic, but it's super powerful. So what I'm telling Twitter to do is go out and show me all of the questions being tweeted to Amy Porterfield. So now I'm going to click search. All right, so this person, very first tweet I see says, Hi, Amy, very informative website. Any tips for creating video, quickly creating video content? Well, as a matter of fact, I have a lot of tips for quickly creating video content. In fact, I just did an impromptu live stream about this yesterday. So already I'm starting to see that I uh, get ideas. Um, let's see here. This person says that she's a student doing research on snap codes and their impact on print ads. That's very interesting. That's not a topic I ever would have come up with on my own, but something I absolutely could write about. This person says, what's your feeling on Instagram stickers? Also, never really thought much about Instagram stickers. I mean, they're there. Uh, it might be something that I could explore. Uh, so this person says, hey, Amy, we need a podcast on money back guarantees. Would you mind creating it for us? Well, Amy might not be able to get around to doing that, or maybe she will, but I could certainly write a blog post about money back guarantees and the pros and the cons of offering them because I also create online uh, information products. Okay, so let me show you another tactic. If you're not quite sure who the influencer is on a particular topic, you can go over to Amazon, find some best-selling books. So we're going to imagine that we are writing a blog post or creating some sort of content about public speaking. So we do a search and we come up with this book, this best-selling book called Talk Like Ted. So we check out who the author is and it's Carmine Gallo. So then we go over to Twitter and we just do a basic search. We put his name up here in the search bar and then voila, now we can see his Twitter handle. So we're going to copy and paste his Twitter handle and then we're going to go back over to Twitter advanced search. And we're going to, again, go to the people section to these accounts, check the question mark, click Whoops, I put it in the wrong thing to these accounts. And then we're going to search. And right off the bat, the very first question says, do you think Mark Zuckerberg's and other startup founders leadership is worse because of their casual dressing style? So um, the topic is now like what to wear when you're giving a presentation, which makes me think, hmm, that's a topic we don't see a lot about. We see a lot about, you know, uh, body language. We see a lot about eye contact, about storytelling. But what about the nuts and bolts of just appearance? Like, like playing the role, looking the role when you give a presentation. That could be a whole blog post. This person, Jack, says, hey, I just want to ask if it's okay to present for a short 10 minutes without any slides at all. Amazing idea for a blog post. So many different ways we could go with that. We could talk about the ideal length of time for a presentation that has slides. Or does, does a does a presentation of any length actually need slides? Then we could talk about the whole school of thought around the, I think it's called Picha Kucha method, which is a, a Japanese, I think, um, derived in Japan, and it's a way of presenting uh, like something like 
one slide per second for a maximum of 12 minutes or something like that. So the presentations are short, but there's very powerful like graphic slides. So anyway, the point is already my mind is just spinning with ideas for content and it goes on and on and on. So this is a wonderful resource. Do me a favor, give this a quick shot and just right now, even if you're not in the middle of creating uh, any content, even if you're not stumped, go over to Twitter and just give this a quick shot and let me know what you find. You can tweet me at Genergy or send me an email, jennifer at jenlaner.com. I can't wait to hear um, what you dig up.